the conditions are challenging. There's a lot of um, flat transitions throughout the wave. So the goofy footers, um, people are going to have um, a little bit more advantage on that. They're going to have be able to see the wave down the line a little bit better and generate speed throughout the flat section. So, Talked about the goofy foots. Here's the opening wave for Caroline Marks, Jesse. Yeah, let's check this out. See, that's what I'm saying about um, the flat transition. See how she's able to keep on rail and generate speed throughout um, the wave and finished off strong. And Caroline Marks, she started off with a great score, but we'll go to Sakura Johnson. This is a 3.33, Maida. Yeah, very nice opening wave. Nice snap right there. She's looking for the finishing session, and she managed to... Looks like she's going to go straight away. Here we go, Sofia Medina. Our wild card eases through that first cutback. is a sleepy, slopey wave, and that will be a priority error, not the wet start she wants. Sakura right behind her. Foam on the face for Johnson. Late to the lip and pays for that. So you can see the jumbled conditions, Jesse. Take advantage of that just skis, skis. You have to make your way all the way to the inside to the pickup area. Surfers decide to paddle back out. Long wall in front of Sofia Medina. We'll see if Medina chooses to run that drill, and that's exactly what she's gonna do. So. Maida, this is uh, kind of the drill. You know, you, you come in to that gutter section, that inside section where the Red Bull jet ski can pick you up and take you back out through the channel. Here's a play, Maida. Yeah, it was a nice looking wave. Look, the first turn was really nice. And then she set up another one. And then the third one looked a little stronger and she had a good finish as well. So lovely wave for her and incredible wave selection, Jesse, to find this clean face. Yeah, and this is this is what you need today. I feel like this is probably the nicest wave we've seen it all morning, Reed. And, and right there, the wave gets a little bit steeper. She's able to um, apply a little bit more pressure and use that front arm to bring her all the way around and finished off strong. She's just playing very smart. She's not going 100%. She's not doing more than she need. And she just wants to apply pressure in the opponents. And she's doing that right now. She's two steps ahead of everyone. Best and second best score of the heat so far. Yeah, so far dominant performance by Caroline as we're coming on this replay. And I like your point, Jesse, in that. She just capitalized on. Looks like she's gonna ride another wave. She's getting this in third priority. What a find for Caroline Marks. Couple of turns there, both. Sophia Medina, who has first priority and second priority with Sakura Johnson, did not even look at that wave. I don't know if that's going to help on her scoreline, but I feel, Maida, that wave could have helped someone like Sophia Medina. Yeah, it's true, Kaipo. Look, another good-looking wave, and looks how she made this turn. And then another one, yeah, could, could have helped Sophia Medina. She was with priority, but she didn't even look at that. And then Carolina Marx just capitalized on that. Yeah, we talk about rhythm in the heat, Jesse, and it looks like the, the in-rhythm surfer is right here, Caroline Marks. Totally. That, that was a tricky wave to ride, but I think that was a one-turn wave. And on a day like today, with the conditions we have on offer right now, you're looking for one big section. And that wave actually had that one big closeout. And maybe if she didn't try and do that first... You really don't want to be in that second round, elimination round, because it's just tricky heats, and you don't want to go away with the ninth place right now. Here we go with Medina, lining up this one. A couple of carves on the backhand, gets a little stuck on the rail there. And that was unfortunate because that first opening car was night. You can see actually have that break and enjoy home a little bit, enjoy her friends. And she came back and it worked out and she's on another, looked like a decent wave. This one a little bit of a warble, just a couple of S turns to set, on, set up on the inside. No harm, no fall for Caroline Marks need for Betty Lou Sakura Johnson. Here we go with Sofia Medina, finds the right going against the grain here, puts it up and brings it down. That was a difficult section going up against, that's up against the current, up against basically going right on a left, Jesse. To be able to see it, see that flat section right there, there's literally no energy and all the energy are co is coming against her. So she was able to put, um, place her board in the right place just on the lip line right there. Beautiful turn from her. And see how much lump and backwash there is and so much energy in that whitewash and she was able to come out clean. That was... And we'll see if Sakura is gonna eye up this one. Looks like it's a good size set, Jesse. Oh, we go to Sofia Medina down the beach on the right. Nothing going there. 
One minute remaining for Sakura out the back. Yeah, it's, it's well, it looks like Caroline, once again, she's on a heater right now. Dial a bomb Marks here. We get another wave. That one just closes out, but it will be Caroline Marks unless something miraculously happens uh, in this final 30 seconds. Caroline Marks onto the quarterfinals. Betty Lou, Sakura Johnson, and Sofia Medina will see them in the elimination round when we reseed that elimination round. Reminder, elimination round will be happening today after our men's opening round. Yeah, guys, Caroline is so young, but at the same time, so experienced. Did that make a big difference for you on that? Hey, congratulations. How was it for you? Thanks so much. Yeah, I mean, um, it's I've been to Brazil, Brazil a few times now, and um, as we were talking about before the interview, like every day I've been here, it's it's been like one foot and so beautiful, and I haven't really been surfing that much. It's been flat a few days, so um, today is like a completely different day. I'm on a brand new board, and um, so kind of just had to figure it out out there, but. Um, last year was pretty similar. We had a ton of late days and then it was like uh, a lot bigger the day we surfed. So kind of took some experience from last year and put it into my heat just now and um, stoked it worked out. Yeah, I was going to ask you exactly about that because today's so different from the last day, but you had a great wave selection. How was that for you outside? Did you get nervous or you just, I'm fine with it. You seem to be fine. Yeah, I was actually pretty nervous this morning. I think it's just a lot of anticipation. Um, you know, a lot of, a lot of off days and, um, and we kind of all knew it was going to be on today. So I was just like, what is it going to be like? You know, what board I'm going to be on, but, um, I have great equipment here. I've been having a lot of fun. My two best friends are here with me. So just been trying to be in the moment and, um, been enjoying Brazil and enjoying the culture. And, um, yeah, I got a few nice waves. So that was nice. Yeah, you seem to be pretty comfortable. You were third here last year. Uh, what are your expectations for this year? Is it first or step by step? Um, uh, you know, it's obviously I want to win. I'm here to win. Um, but at the same time, I uh, try to be in the moment and take it step by step. Don't don't get too far ahead of yourself. And um, just try to, yeah, enjoy every day and put on good performances. And um, usually that'll translate into good results. Great. Congratulations. Back to you guys.